The only thing a Castillo has done for Yara is rape our land. And you will do the same thing, Gao. You don't know that. I do! And if you loosen these chains, I will wrap my hands around your little throat and save Yara from another Castillo! <laughs> or you can do your country a favor and kill yourself. Drinking woman ever to have her head on a pike. Gracias, señor presidente. Higher! I want them higher! I will bleed for la moral if you take me. Beginning, Carlito was a tank. Hey, nice work with that rescue. I heard you kicked Benitez's ass, Danny. I wish I could have been there. I think I went out of this shit. I heard it was someone from Libertad that rescued our people. What's happening? Meeting on the mound. Some of our friends want to quit early. Okay, listen up. This isn't worth killing for. Sure as hell isn't worth dying for. We're young. We should be out there drinking and fucking and skipping school. Woo! Our parents and grandparents already stole our future. Why should we give a shit? That's what I used to think. And then one day, Admiral Benitez walked into my classroom with a gun. She called on your name, you came to the front. One by one. 
Alvarez, Bermudez, Carrillo. The Admiral read their crimes, protesting, handing out pamphlets, liking a Clara Garcia post. Fernandez, Jimenez, Peña. I learned a lesson on my last day at school. You can either be on the right side of history or the wrong side of Castillo's guns. Wise words, young Guerrilla. La Moral taking new members? Depends. What? Is there an age limit? I will plead for La Moral. If you take me. Welcome to the war, viejo. <laughs> so how do we take out the Admiral? Push-ups are the first step to victory. The Grand Hotel, Danny. That's the key. I got a convoy I like to make friends with. No. We need Carlito. Push-ups never lie. You just cut your... I need you to go to the Gran Hotel Caballero. It used to be a resort for wealthy turistas, but Benitez converted it into some sort of prison torture hellhole. One of our fighters, Hugo, is being held there, which means he's got an appointment with the dentist, the regime's best interrogator. If the dentist gets any information out of him, we're fucked. He's got a good heart, but Hugo will crack like a fucking coconut. You need to stop that interrogation, whatever it takes. I already sent a scout to the hotel. She'll help when you get there. And one of Gilberto's people can get you past the guards if you hide in the back of his delivery truck. But you better hurry. The truck is leaving soon from the delivery yards. <coughs> Benitez can't find out where we are, Danny. I can't lose another Over here. Some speech, right? Don't worry, I'm a friend.
Hey, I'm driving up to the hotel. I can sneak you past the guards. Hop in. Oh, shit. You're doing this mission? Hell yeah. I hate that this. some huge hotel on a mountain. Looks fancy. Gran Hotel Caballero. Since 1740, that place has been a military prison. Then a hotel, then back to being a prison, then a hotel again. Looks like the place isn't taking reservations. When Castillo's there, it's always checkout time. How long are we doing this? I don't know. My jokes have no vacancy. <laughs> I'm hanging up now. Danny, I'm your eyes on this one and I'm in position. The dentist is already in there with them. Binga. I thought dentists were always late. Not this one. Oh, coño. I'm having flashbacks here. See you, Medic. where your headquarters is, and I won't shoot that stupid grin off your face. I'll never tell you. Any minute now, my people are going to rescue me and make a corpse out of you. Ah, how touchy. But no one's coming, I'm afraid. Bobby! Shit! Check it out! 
on a gift for you. Gift? The hotel. I'm taking it. They've tortured their last guerrilla here. You sure you're not La Moral, Danny? I'm just saying it. Uh, enemies in the air. Come here. What do you want the people of Yara to know about the conflict? <laughs> conflict? It's business as usual. Look, in spite of all the rumors going around, there's no war. At least not here in Eastern Yara. Am I right, Admiral? This is not a war. There. The criminals of La Libertad will be stopped. Yeah. They're few, we are many. You hear that? And... Libertards? This means chica. She means business. And what about the violent gang known as La Moral? Anyone who attacks Yara's military or a business interests is not a true Yaran. My strategy... And I helped her with the strategy. I've got decades of experience. I ran a security firm. The East is safe. Am I right? Right. No prea capas, por nada. That's a cut. I gotta go. Señor Presidente. Admiral, so lovely to hear your voice. If I could ask, how is it that a group of school children in El Este are inflicting the highest number of active duty casualties of this war? Admiral? They, um, they have support from Libertad and the Legends. I've always taken a personal interest in your career. Handpicked you out of the academy. But make no mistake, there were more experienced, more qualified, and more intelligent officers in line before you. You stood out for one simple reason. Si, señor presidente. You were a woman in uniform. And now you could be the highest ranking woman ever to have her head on a pike. Gracias, señor presidente.
chorizo. ¿Cómo? Take in the hotel. I've been telling you. You make a good commander. Ah, I hope they're ready. It's game time, Hola, Danny. Amor. There's these farmers in Sombrero Gorge. They're super fans of La Moral. Actually, they're super fans of me. They were part of my fan club when I was on the national team. They tipped us off to this special convoy that always rolls through Shao Pass. We put together a smash and grab attack plan, and I told my super fans to sit up. Don't know about you, but I fucking love hearing convoys. Nice speech, Yellen. Gracias for not shooting my ear. I'm gonna grab a ride.
Ja. going to help un montón. I heard you hit that convoy. Si. Un run's heading your way with the cash. Good job, Danny. Any battle we get will go a long way in this fight. Admiral Benitez has increased patrols now. So watch the roads. Okay. Take in the hotel. I've been selling. I have just the mis I like these young Darias. They remind me of, well, me. Only smaller. And it's going to take a lot more than a basement full of little me's to win this war. The time has come, baby Tigre. We need Carlito. The fifth legendary member of the 67th Revolution, and the toughest motherfucker I ever knew. Soldados would piss their pantalones when they came face to face with him. You know the expression, too, but Castillo has many bullets. But we will have Carlito, and Carlito only needs one. I can't lose another Camillo.
Here I go! From the beginning, Carlito was a tank. Yeah! Whoa! What are you talking about? This Carlito! Everyone knows Carlito! Baby Tigre! There's a cave we use during La Revolution! Take a left at the road! Get to the nearby bridge! Nothing will stand in our way!
Lorenzo, you came. What the fuck is he doing here? I wanted him to see Carlito for himself. <laughs> Mi compay. How many years since you've been down the mountain? Too many. Carlito and I, we have a lot of good memories. Time to make some new ones. You should join us, hermano. War is over. When we are all free. Sí! <laughs> hey, come. Come on, it's gonna be good. No, I'm good. Come on! War is over when we are all free. Since when did you start quoting Lobo? When I finally saw past my own bullshit, and all that remained was the truth. <laughs> Lobo did have a way of cutting through bullshit. I wish he was here now. He'd be so happy to see us and Carlito. Happy to see you and Carlito, maybe. Enough of that nonsense, El Tigre. Sounds like we have her right where we want her. Meet me at El Agujero. I want to go over my attack plan. Quoting Lobo. When I finally saw past my own bullshit, and all that remained was the truth. <laughs> Lobo did have a way of cutting through bullshit. I wish he was here now. He'd be so happy to see us and Carlito. Happy to see you and Carlito, maybe. Enough of that nonsense, El Tigre.
Hey, how are you? This one taking the hotel. I've been telling people. Hurry up, Humberto has a call. Thanks to you, Benitez's defenses are spread out all across El Este. Now's the perfect time to attack her headquarters. The problem is, we don't know how many soldados are there. So, here's what we're going to do. You, La Moral, the Ancianos, and that tank are going to quietly get on the island. We use that rusty tank to punch holes in the fort, then keep shooting until Benitez is dead. She probably planned for a lot of attack scenarios, but I'm sure pontooning a tank to her island wasn't one of them. Rendezvous with El Tigre at the place I marked on your map. I can't lose another chameleon. Oh. He's so cute, coño! Libertad, la moral, and the legends. All going after Benito. ¿Cómo está? Dímelo. Hello. Hey. Okay, what?
Hi. Qué vuelta. Elena gave us the green light. My baby Tigre. A big battle is on the horizon. I'm just happy everyone is getting along. You did this. Back in 67, it was Santos who could bring the people together. Today, you have that magic. So I'm Santos? No. You are me, the feast. Now, before every mission, I find that if I imagine myself accomplishing it, I will accomplish it. There. I just imagine us destroying the Nephi. Are we doing this? You kids today. You're so fast with everything. Take in this moment. The world will change in a couple of hours. Tigre got you covered. Keep hitting that fort. Daddy, are you all right? I'm good. Looks like this way's blocked. I'm gonna go for Benitez. Do it. We'll find another way in and connect with you as soon as we can. <gasps> Aguerrilla has made it inside. Find them. Kill them. Where is If you're not dealing with the guerrilla inside, then you're killing guerrillas outside. Oh, my God. 
corpses to Presidente Castillo myself. Release the poison! <laughs> Benitez. Hey, baby Tigre, you still there? See, si. seems to be fucking death around every corner here. Then make sure you're on the other side of those corners. Claro, El Tigre. to go. You will die here alone. Your Callate. 
Get me the... Open my cell. You can do it in the control room. I will not survive here. Help me. Let us know. Please. How do I open that door Benitez went in? Go ahead. Release the fake Yaren rats. They will die. Just like you. You think oh. I wasn't ready for an That's attack like this? Enemy is over there. <laughs>
do anything to help with that! Do it, Danny! <laughs> Make sure Yelena can do her sniping and stuff! Adios, Benitez. Ojo por ojo. ¡Viva la moral! ¡Benitez! Couldn't have done this without you, Danny. That's not a smart move. You should cut her down. Why? It's what that bitch deserves. You killed a soldier. Good for you. Except the thing about soldiers is there's always more of them. Sí, mamá. Same mistakes, new faces. You're just bitter because your revolution came and went, and all you got was a fucking mountain. <laughs> Enjoy your trophy. Bonita's his private stash. Huh? Salud. Enough with the pics. Victory Danny. I thought I was baby Tigre. Nah. Danny Roja will be bigger than El Tigre. You know why? Because your war will fucking end. Viva la moral! Si! Sí, viva la moral! There's something about third world prisons. They make me hard. As you can see, Mr. McKay, everything is under control. Good old shakedown. I love it. Did they do it? Who the fuck cares? <laughs> the Admiral was a lamb. She did not have the stomach needed to deal with the terroristas. I would like you to consider 
expanding your operations. Look, you have Are you a legend? Open the cell. With respect, the president has a strict... Open it! Did you fight with Santos Espinosa in the 67 Revolution? I drove a tank right through the doors of the Capitolio in the Battle of Esperanza. I was there when we took your grandfather. I watched them die. Why did you hate him? The only thing a Castillo has done for Yara is rape our land. And you will do the same thing now. You don't know that. I do! And if you loosen these chains, I will wrap my hands around your little throat and save Yara from another Castillo! Or you can do your country a favor and kill yourself. <laughs> we should have someone look at that mule. It's not mine. <laughs> Not yet, but I get the feeling I should be. Hell yes! Okay, it's on, Danny. Have a drink with me at Chuchi's. It's a bar west of Concepcion Bay and north of Grand Hotel Caballero. You got it, Yelena. Clara, Yara is a little more free today. The Admiral is dead. That is a huge blow to the military. Anton's going to be out for revenge. Watch your back. I always do. Word is, Castillo has a defection problem. Who knows, we might even have a Castillo surrender. You're dreaming, Lara. Fuck yeah, I am. That's right. The ancianos keep talking about their glory days. This party is aging me 30 years. Let's go. We're doing our own thing. We need Honron. She's at a house on the beach. I'll drive. Let's ride. Follow me.
We had a thing. No shit. Where is he? I need another drink for that story. We're here. <laughs> you two always go be like this! Oh, yes! Yelena, you suck. Cállate. I was studying while you were playing games. Hey, it's trying that counts. <laughs> what are you? The fucking UN? Let's get Danny a trophy for trying. What's next? Is this gonna be party Yelena or wiki Yelena? Fuck off. You getting the grill? You know how I feel about using that thing. Animals have goddamn brains too. You know dolphins can use tools? Cojone, there was a beautiful second I forgot you were vegan. Can you show Danny where the grill is? Yeah, yeah, you monsters. Danny, grab that. I'll show you where to find meat or fish to cook. Or plant-based food for the good of your soul. Talk to me. The point is, we came here to celebrate. Everybody's throwing meat on the grill and... I asked them to make room for my veggies. And everyone starts making fun of my veganness. <laughs> I'm a fun drunk, okay? But if I hear, eat some fucking arroz con puerco honrón one too many times, I kinda lose my shit. Just a bit. I will remember that for later. 
<laughs> well, you've been warned. So I'm pissed. My big brother, Gerardo, sees people picking on me and he fucking snaps. Grabs the grill with his bare hands. Hot as shit, meat still cooking. And chucks it into the ocean. Everybody was gonna kill me. Gerardo steps up the way a good big brother does. <laughs> he always had my back when no one else did. He died like a week after that. I fucking miss him. I'm sorry, Horon. But I'm sure he's happy we took down Benitez. <laughs> Gerardo wishes he was at this party for sure. He'd always say, we're not here to feel like shit. We're here to erase the past and drink to our future. And to eat our veggies, right? <laughs> exactly, Danny. The grill's over there. Watch out for the sharks. Those legends can sing in Puro Papai. Pinga. See, those ancianos came through. With them on our side, we're gonna have the numbers we need. Right? I think so. Follow me. Come. I'll show you where to find some good hunting. You just need to point me in the right direction. <sighs> this island reminds me so much of Gerardo. Oh. Oron's brother. Yeah. What happened to him? In the early days of La Moral, Horon and Gerardo were so reckless. The two of them did this stupid smash and grab on a checkpoint and got arrested. I tried to bribe the guards to free them, but they could only get one out. I had to choose. My heart said to Gerardo, but Horon is the best guerrilla we have. You picked Horon over your boyfriend? I did. I had a plan for the next day. We were going to break him out, but Benitez executed all the prisoners as punishment for Honron being free. She doesn't know. Gerardo was thrown off at the fort. Bing. I think about that choice every day. And the truth is, I had to do it over again. I'd still pick Honron. It's the right call. It's just, well, you know. There's only one person responsible for Gerardo's death. And that's Castillo. Gracias, Danny. But I was born with an eye for bullshit. In La Revolución, we are all guilty. 
Just some a bit more than others. I think Libertad might have a bit more faith in humanity. And that's why I'll never join. Look, there's crocodiles and fish on this side of the island. And grab a couple of carrots for our fucking rabbit, on Ron. You got it, Yelena. I'm just going to take a minute alone. It's been a long time since I've been here. We got Benny. <laughs> Better get this food on the grill. Enough. I'm gonna go mingle. I invited some of your fans from the coconut farms. Oh. No, you didn't. I did. I myself if there is no food. Beautiful!
Casey! Oh. 